Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and Assalamu Alaikum. This is Dr. Osman and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will start about sideroblastic anemia. It is also considered a microcytic hypochromic anemia. In this, the iron and basically in sideroblastic anemia, the iron stores are adequate but the because of some acquired or genetic problems the iron cannot be incorporated in the hemoglobin so there the hemoglobin will not be properly formed so there will be decreased hemoglobin which is called anemia and because of its uh, pathogenesis it is called sideroblastic where the iron is iron laden in the mitochondria of the RBCs in the bone marrow so there is different causes of sideroblastic anemias like genetic causes and genetic causes where the ALA synthase gene has defect where amino levolunic acid ALA stands for amino levolunic acid synthase gene deficiency or defect okay before going into a topic properly let me explain the role of amino levolunic acid synthase this is rbc and these are a few steps of heme synthesis we will not discuss about all step of heme synthesis because it is a proper topic of biochemistry we will just look about the role of ala synthase in this heme synthesis when glycine combined with succinyl oco a they combined to form delta amino levolunic acid in the presence of vitamin b6 and amino levolunic acid synthase and some patient or some people this this enzyme the gene of this enzyme is defective so the succinyl coa plus glycine they when combined they cannot form delta amino levolunic acid so heme cannot be formed another important thing is vitamin b6 here it is a cofactor for production of delta amino levolunic acid so either ala synthase deficiency or certain drugs which we will which i listed below which cause the decreased level of vitamin b6 so when the vitamin b6 deficiency can also cause sideroblastic anemia another is acquired and acquired there is myelodysplastic syndrome it is myelodysplastic syndrome it is a syndrome where which, which is a combination of different disorders where one lineage or more than one lineage of cells in the bone marrow is defective or even not formed this is a separate topic someday we will discuss about that another is reversible conditions this is important like alcoholic use or drugs like isoniazid or lenazolate these are like reversible condition they lead to deficiency of b6 vitamin which is called pyridoxine so where this vitamin b6 is deficient lead to sideroblastic anemia <coughs> basically the these irons are get deposited on the mitochondria of the rbc in the bone marrow and the clinical symptom is same about all the anemias where the fatigue weakness and different like we discussed in the early videos the diagnosis is important in cerebroblastic anemia because if we go through the iron studies in the uh, serum the iron level will be even increased the tibc will be either normal or decreased serum ferritin is decreased uh, increased sorry so in general if we look the total iron stores or even total iron level in the body is up to normal or increased but the main pathogenesis is the iron cannot be incorporated in the hemoglobin which lead to sideroblastic anemia 
this is very important ring sideroblast in the bone marrow when we took biopsy from the bone marrow and we look at the rbc's the rbc hemoglobin will be iron leaded mitochondria in the rbc's so it is a uh, it is a diagnostic point another important point on the peripheral smear is basophilic stippling of rbc these two are very important to remember in any scenario or um, even for the diagnosis in the clinical practice but it is very important to remember to diagnose sideroblastic anemia one is ringed sideroblast and basophilic stippling another treatment treatment is only pyridoxine because it's a general we think the b6 deficiency can lead to certain type of uh, symptoms or certain uh, this sideroblastic anemia so treatment pyridoxin and most patient respond to pyridoxin thank you so much